Honestly, this is a game changer for the Web3 adoption. There is no simple application that allows you to easily build any dApp in the Web3 ecosystem. Even someone like me, who isn't tech at all, can construct using the Voltun APIs. And in this video, I'll prove it. Welcome back, Voltuners, to another YouTube video. In this case, more aimed for developers. Today, I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to set up your workspace to start building dApps with the blockchain APIs. No matter if you aren't a Web3 developer yet, I'll show you how easy it is to set up. Botun offers all the resources you need to start constructing your own dApps. If you are a Web2 developer, I'm so glad to have you here to convert you to a Web3 developer. Oh, by the way, and at the end of this video, you're going to be winning 200 points for the future airdrop of the VTN token by following the three simple steps that I'm about to show you. What are we waiting for? Let's get to it. Actually, in this video, we're going to be following all the information that appears in the documents of Botun. You can find them here. We're actually going to go step by step following this documentation that is completed. You don't need any other resources than this page. Step number one, log in to the Votun world. You might already have an account, but if you don't, you need to create one in the Votun world. In the video that I put on the top right, in Spanish but subtitled in English, you can find how to do that. And of course, we're going to be willing to participate with the activities to gain points for the airdrop. But in order to do that, we need to first get started with the Web3 API. Bear in mind that once you have created an account in the Voton world, you automatically get a new wallet. And this one is connected with your account. And we're also going to need a code editor where to write all the code. In this case, I'm going to be using the tool Postman that can easily call API's request. But of course, you can insert that data into your own code. Step number two, create a project and create an API key. What we're basically going to do is to go to the panel on the left side and we're going to create a project in order to get an app ID. Let's create a new one and I'm going to keep the same description. As I mentioned before, I'm going to select the wallet I want to work with. In this case, the one that I have already assigned when I created the account. Now we have an app ID. Now it's time to create an API key. I'm going to call it the same. I'm going to make sure it does not expire. We're going to be doing that on testnet as it is free. And I'm going to sign the permissions. This is like read only and read an editor. These are the permissions that I'm going to give to the API. Can the API only read or it can read and also write? In this case, I'm going to give it that property of editing so it can change on Web3 core API, NFTs, gaming API, and all the rest. The API has full access. Now that I have created the API key, I'm going to make sure that I copy this key. It is very important. For security reasons, you're not going to see that again. Let's delete these other API keys to not confuse us. Now that we have the app ID and we also have the IP key, we can start making authenticated requests to the blockchain APIs. And as I mentioned, I'm going to be using the tool Postman. Super easy to start calling on APIs. We're going to jump to new here. We're going to make sure we create an HTTP and we're going to edit the headers. In the section of the headers, I'm going to be pasting the API key that I had to copy and we're going to go to authorization. Here, I'm going to select the type beer token and I'm going to make sure I paste the API key right here. And now we're going to edit the headers. Now we're going to copy the app ID and we're going to paste it in the value section. In order to identify this app ID, we need to put the code that we find in the document section. So if we go to docsvotun.io, here we can find that the header is identified like that. We copy the identifier and we paste it as a key. And now we're already authenticated. Do you remember what I said at the beginning of the video? You're going to be winning 200 points for the airdrop of VTN by following this simple tutorial. Let's go to the Voton community to see the activities that we have available for the developers. Check out if we go to activities that the first ones are for free, but the first one that gives you points, it asks you to identify the network. We will have to execute a GET request to this endpoint right over here. So let's copy and put it in the postman. 
I copy this and in the section get, I paste the URL. Now I click on send and here it displays all the data that we need. All the testnet blockchains with its symbol, with its ID and the explorer. Identify the network ID of Polygon testnet. Easy peasy. We go down here, Polygon Mumbai ID. We copy that, we paste it here and we click on send. That's it, as easy as it looks. Once the status changes to review, you're gonna be winning those points. It is completely easy to do those activities as a developer. And if you want me to do more videos about it and completing these activities, make sure you comment it down below. Now, before finishing, I wanna show you something else. It is important to find the network, but it's also important to fund your account. In this section, wallets, we have our wallet, with no fonts, no matter it is in testnet. So what we're gonna do right now before ending is to deposit some fonts in this testnet. By doing so, we need a Fawcett. We're gonna write Mumbai, the Polygon uh, testnet common, and we're gonna put Fawcett. We're gonna request to receive a small amount of tokens in the testnet for developing purposes. Now, there is a lot of faucet and some can be a little bit suspicious. If you don't feel comfortable by searching at your own, I recommend you to jump to our Discord community and interact with other developers inside the Voton ecosystem. We share many resources inside our Discord and some are gonna be useful for you, 100% sure. I'm gonna copy the address of the wallet and I'm gonna paste it here. You might need to sign up to Alchemy to request those Matic. Once signed in, I click on send Matic. And that's it, as simple as that. And if we go to mumbai.polygonscan.com and we paste here our wallet, we're gonna see that we have a new deposit. 0.5 Matic have just been sent. As I said before, if you wanna jump to our Discord community to find other developers and interact with the whole team, I will put it down here. If you want to find out more content about the Botun ecosystem or exploring the VTN token value proposition that is about to be launched, I invite you to check our YouTube channel, Votun TV. We're looking forward to your feedback. Please make sure you share with us all your points of view and feedback of the content. If you want new videos about activities of the developers in the Botun world, make sure you put it down below in the comments. See you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.